It's not uncommon to have multiple users want to use or need to use the same file. But what about allowing multiple users to access the same file at the same time? Now, in some situations, that's a dangerous proposition, but nevertheless, the need can be there. What if we want to allow more than one user to access the data in this particular file, update the information, add information to it, and so on? The term in Excel is called sharing. Sharing doesn't mean that you're allowing other people to open a file by itself. It means you're allowing others to open the file at the same time. We get to this feature by way of the review tab. And the term is share workbook. Share your workbook so that others can work in it at the same time. Below this, we see the indication that workbooks containing tables can't be shared. In the worksheet that we're seeing on the screen here, it has not been converted into a table. There is a somewhat larger list of other features that you cannot use as well. As we click share workbook, however, note the dialog box here in the description. Allow changes by more than one user at the same time. This also allows workbook merging. That's a different topic. I have this open right now at this time. There is an advanced tab here. And thinking ahead, do we want to keep track of the changes? We probably do. And how long might we want to keep track of these changes? Well, we have some options here for adjusting those. If multiple users are using this file, when do we want to update the changes? Anytime a file is saved, maybe every 15 minutes. And I think you have to think out how this is going to work in your work environment. I might suggest too that you check out this feature either with yourself or with another user with a small file. Uh, think of some of the issues that happen when you're updating the same cell at approximately the same time. And so there's an option here for conflicting changes between users. What does seem to be missing in this concept is who's in charge. And so there's some external management issues that might come into play as well. Ask me which changes when or the changes being saved when. And as we'll see, there is a way to track this information too by way of another feature called tracking. But if you're interested first in just setting up the workbook so that it can be shared, editing tab, simply check the box here, click OK. Now, you'll notice in the title bar, workbook before sharing shared. In brackets, the word shared does not necessarily mean that someone else has this file open. It doesn't mean even that someone else could even get to it. What if you've saved this file on your flash drive? Well, you're the only one that can get to it. So that the term from time to time can be misleading. But right now, another person could be opening this file and we might make a change in this cell or that cell. Meanwhile, another person who has it open at the same time might be changing this file as well. Possibly the same cells, possibly different cells. From time to time, what we will want to do is track the changes here. And that's covered in the next movie. We've simply set up this file for sharing. We'll close the file now. File close. At a later time, we'll open it and possibly we will be informed that there have been changes made. So at a later time, we'll open this workbook and recognize that the name right now should be changed as well. I've initially called it workbook before sharing. So at the moment, all we've done is set up this workbook for sharing. Others can use it. And we might be informed if there were changes that there have been changes. So sharing a workbook simply means that you've opened the door or you've established the capability that others can open this file at the same time and make changes to it and save it while you're doing it as well. And so sharing a workbook is an ideal feature when you have a situation where more than one user needs to be updating a file at the same time. There are problems to be sure, but if properly managed, it's an ideal feature for allowing multiple people to access a file and make changes to it at the same time.